Hey dolls and gents, if you're following me on Snapchat, then you already know that this wig got your girl feeling some type of way. You know when you put on that wig and you just want to take so many pictures, so many videos, and you just want everybody to see you in that wig? That's how I feel about this. I seriously have nowhere to go after this, but I really am like, I want to go somewhere real quick because it just got me feeling some type of way. Like... I was really scared to put this wig on when I first received it because this is a lot of blonde and you know your girl is dark skinned. So I'm like, I don't know about this color, but as soon as I put my makeup on and then I put the wig on, I was like, okay, all right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> so I know all of you on Snapchat want details on this hair. So I'm going to go ahead and give y'all the details and I'm going to look down so I can tell you the exact style number if there is a style number yes there is so this unit is from uni wigs so this is style number cl0496 so this is one of their celebrity inspired wigs and this wig was inspired by one of beyonce's hairstyles i feel like the wig looks different from how it looks on the website on beyonce i feel like there's a lot more darker roots so I may go in and dye the roots more, but I am really feeling this hair color. Like this isn't something that I would normally choose. And I'm glad that I chose it because I've been like doing regular, like natural colored hair, like brown and black, but it's nice to switch things up sometimes. I did do quite a few modifications to this unit, so it is going to look a bit different when you receive it. When I first received this unit, I went ahead and I bleached the knots on the full front portion of the lace. And the reason that I did that is I wanted it to look as natural as possible. Because this is a light colored hair, I didn't want there to be like so many dots on the head that it looked very wiggy. I wanted this to look very natural. So I did that, and once I did that, I went ahead and I plucked the hairline. So I did pluck and customize the hairline a bit, so it is going to look a little bit different when you receive it. It's going to have a fuller hairline, and it's not going to have bleach knots, so you're not going to get this kind of parting like I have right now. I also went ahead and added my foundation to the underside of the lace just so that it could blend with my skin better, so it looks a lot more natural. So if you're following me on Snapchat, you know that I was like, my hair is laid right now. Like, my hair has never been this laid in life and it's because a lot of you have been raving about these two products to lay your lace frontal and I was like I don't know people have been using this instead of tape and glue to lay their frontals down and their lace wigs down and I was like you know what I'm gonna go out and buy these these were $6.99 each at Walgreens so very inexpensive and seriously this thing has my hair laid right now like oh, so freaking laid it's not going anywhere I'm gonna be using this to apply all of my lace frontals now because it just makes life so much easier you don't have to worry about installing an elastic band you just do this and it lays down your edges and your wig at the same dang time so this is one of their customized units so it did take quite a bit of time for them to make it i feel like it took around four weeks for them to make this unit but they did a wonderful job the color is very nice it's a cool tone kind of blondish reddish color it's it's a different color. I want to say that it's a dirty blonde color. Now this does have a slight wave to it when it's wet, but I went ahead and blow dried and straightened this hair just a little bit. So I wanted to wear it straight. I feel like when I wear a color like this, if I curl the hair, it looks crazy on me. So I wanted to just wear it straight today. Oh, and another thing that I did is I took out the two clips that were inside of the wig. The reason that I did that was I wanted to bleach the knots on the wig and it was kind of in the way. And because I knew that I was going to hold down this wig with the got to be glued, I knew that I didn't need those. So I just took mine out. But there are also two adjustable clips back here and there's an adjustable strap in the back. So you don't have to use the got to be glued, but if you want your hair to be extra lazy, you can do that but this is a glueless full lace wig so you can rock it without any tape or glue or anything so the density of this unit is 
is 150% and it does have a nice density. It doesn't look thin at all. This hair is really nice and full. I feel like it has a bit of texture to it as well, but it doesn't feel like really stringy or unhealthy like when normally hair is bleached to this color. It feels nice and healthy and it has a gorgeous sheen to it. I didn't apply any product to this hair. All I did was blow dry and lightly straighten this hair so it can get a lot more straight than this but this is how I chose to keep it. I wanted it to have a little bit more texture, a little bit more body so I didn't do it bone straight. If any of you are interested in checking out this unit, I will have a link down below for you guys. And if I have a coupon code, I will leave that down below for you guys as well. Y'all will definitely see me rocking this wig because your girl is feeling herself in this wig. Like I said, I am really loving this wig. Like I don't have any issues with it other than the modifications that I did. But y'all know when you get laced wigs, if you want them to look less wiggy, you definitely have to do modifications to most, if not all of them. So that's not an issue for me. But the only thing I will say is maybe um, having darker roots. That was the only concern that I initially had. But once I put it on, I feel like it looks good. I feel like I don't necessarily have to get darker roots if I don't want to. And I feel like it may make the wig look kind of crazy if I do too dark of a root with it being this light. But y'all can let me know what you think about this wig in the comment section down below. Would you rock this wig? Would you rock this color? You can also get this wig in different colors. So if you like this wig, but this color might not be for you, I completely understand. You can check out their other colors as well. And they have plenty of wig styles on their website. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, girl, that blonde is not for you in the comments. I already know every time I rock a color other than a natural like black or brown, somebody always says something, but just let me live today, okay? I'm feeling myself today. Just, just give your girl this one day to live, okay? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.